ndabaga yakoraga imirimo ye ya utereta umukobwa umubwira ko ari we The current ubiquitous lighting source is kerosene. And there are really no advantages to kerosene. It's all disadvantages in terms of poor health outcomes, uh, it's expensive, it's unsafe. Uh, and it's environmentally unfriendly. Neurolight is a for-profit social enterprise. Uh, we've got a dual mission. The first mission is essentially to replace the kerosene lamps in over 90% of the rural households that uh, we operate in. And the second mission is essentially to uh, provide an off-grid recharging or electricity infrastructure for the two billion people in the world that do not have access to electricity. <laughs> In the markets that we've been in, uh, in rural Africa and South Asia, when you ask people why they want electricity, it's not because they want electricity, but they want access to light in particular. People want light for its own sake, but light then allows them to uh, do other things, other productive things. It allows uh, children to be able to study at night, uh, it allows mothers to be able to cook, it allows mothers to be able to attend to their babies in the, in the middle of the night. So lighting has a lot of development benefits uh, as well. What they currently spend on kerosene is upwards of eight US dollars a month. And so if you look at a typical household that's earning a dollar a day, thirty dollars a month, eight dollars is a quarter of their, which here in Rwanda is basically one month of uh, tuition for your, for your child to go to school. So the first step is to find a microfinance partner. The second step is to find an entrepreneur. And that entrepreneur then gets a microloan from the microfinance partner to purchase the power cycle pedal generator, which is essentially the recharging station, and as many lights as his market can bear, the pod lights, the portable on-demand lights. And then the third is that that entrepreneur then goes out and markets those lights to his community, sells them or, or rents them to people in his, in his community, and then those people come back to him for recharging, and he actually makes a small fee on the, on the recharge uh, services that he provides. By the end of February this year, we will have 80 entrepreneurs set up, providing light to 14,000 households uh, with a CO2 savings of about 2,000 tons. By the end of 2010, we will have 800 entrepreneurs providing 200,000 households with light with a savings of about 10,000 tons of CO2.